Good morning, everybody. This is Brenda with Garden Question, because I always have so many questions about gardening. But today, we are going to be focused on our Christmas village. And this is Vienna. Hey. Hi. Is this exciting? Yeah. yeah. We're going to do this whole counter with our delightful Christmas village that we've been doing for quite a few years now. That, of course, is the batting. It's going to be our snow. And we're going to turn on our... What is this, Vienna? Bakery. This is the bakery. That's right. Let's turn it on. What's that? That's right. Okay. Oh, those are figurines? Who are they? What's that? A trumpeter. Okay. Trumpeter and a guy on the phone. All right, let's turn this on. Very cool. All right, so we have our electrical cords connected and underneath. And I always have done over the previous years some holes already in it for the electrical cords to go through. It took me a while to think about all this through because uh, I wanted it to look a certain way. And so I've done a lot of thinking on it and now I've got all my electrical cords connected and I tested each one by my little blue light on my kettle that every outlet is working. Very happy about that. So Vienna, I guess it's time we got the village started, hey? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll see you in the next one. So now our Christmas village is complete. I will show you what we've done. This is the Rising Star Christmas Cookie Bakery as we first showed you. Pretty neat. I've been collecting these for quite some time. The last 10 years this year. Next is the Nutcracker. Beautiful detail. This is the Lomax collection. That's why it took so long. <laughs> High quality, and of course a little bit expensive at times. But after Christmas, they usually do a good sale at London Drugs. This is the Glad Wag School for Dogs. Of course, one of our favorites. And this year I put in my Christmas tree I purchased at a local craft fair last year. Bless you, Alex. And of course, look at the detail on that. It's great. And one of my favorites is the merry-go-round. That's my tree. This is the merry-go-round. Even the doggies watching. <laughs> 
You know, bird feeder. Squirrels on the log. This is also another one of our favorites, the Regency Ballroom Christmas Gala. Next. We have a lodge, the Fireside Lodge. Beautiful little Christmas wreaths there with some decor on them. Carolers. Lady with a uh, lantern or pole. Dad and son collecting some firewood. The uh, white blanket sure does a lot to hide all the cords. Looks not seamless, but as close as we're gonna get. Now this is Santa's workshop. Doesn't everyone love this one? Look at that. <laughs> Just beautiful. Mm, so nice. Deck the halls, create your own toys. Nutcracker toys. Find gifts and ornaments. Next is Hartford Hall's Town Hall. And next we have Merry Christmas from Oak Hill Farm. Nice little ride, carriage-wise. Nice little bench to sit on. Next we have the beautiful church, the snowman, Prairie Hills Church. Season's greetings. Next we have Bernie's Teddy Bears. People coming back from their shopping. And last but not least, we have Alpine Peak Bed and Breakfast. I'd love to go stay there. And Santa photos. Photos with Santa. One to four today. Nice little candle. So that is our Christmas village for 2019 season. gives you an overall view of what we tried to do. I had some help, which was great to have. Now we'll get on to my garden question. Hope you enjoyed this part of the video.
Hello and welcome. So we get to the part of the garden question time. I have a lot of questions because I am new to gardening. I've really started being a hydrangea fan. Um, I kind of call myself a freak when it comes to hydrangea. Um, I love hydrangeas. I'm just crazy about them. So I am trying to do my own at home, which are my own plants. Um, I've got some macrophyllas here that I absolutely love. I've got the macrophylla that turns out to be a ruby flower. It's just gorgeous. And then uh, a really nice blue one. It's not an eco blue, um, but it's a beautiful blue flower. I was really um, surprised this year uh, when this plant came up. It was left kind of when we bought the house, it was kind of here. And so when it did come up, I was just shocked at how gorgeous it was, the flowers. Uh, this year, hopefully I'll get some good ones to be able to put on this type of show and you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I will start with this one. These cuttings I took from my hydrangea one. This is a ruby macrophylla and I think I've done something right because things have turned out to be the way I wanted them to be. And let's put them on a plate here, a little better, a little wet. Uh, so I do actually have some growth happening. Obviously things are, it's fall, we're November 15th today and we've got some good growth going on. And I'm excited about it, uh, but the brown part, I have questions about that. Does that mean it's going to die? <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but um, hoping for the best, obviously. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Show you a little closer. Got some good leaves on that one. And I believe, yes, you can even see some roots coming out at the side. Amazing. I guess I should get that little higher in the soil. That's another question. Is that what I should do? I think so. The next one we'll go to is the blue one. Yeah, this one says blue lace cap. And as you can see, it's doing pretty well. Um, but of course, this one, is it going to die? I think it might, but you can let me know in the comment section below what you think. Like I said, I need a lot of help. That's why I decided to call this garden question because I always have a lot of questions about gardening because I'm just, I'm not sure. And I know there's so many people out there that know a lot more than I do. So um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, definitely with Laura with Garden Answer. She's amazing. Uh, I love watching all of her videos uh, multiple times. Uh, same with the other fella, uh, Kincaid, I believe his name is. He's great too. And so, yeah, I've learned a few things as to what to do. Um, this one, obviously, it's got some stuff growing off the side too. I guess that's because of the humidity I have in my little greenhouse that I have going on in the front, front living room window. My husband is very, very generous to me <laughs> in that respect. So, at any rate... Uh, yeah, those are my questions. Um, should I put this in the ground at this level where the roots are coming out or should I, I don't know, I just maybe should check it from the bottom and maybe we'll see what's happening there. And on this one, uh, I don't think it's going to make it, <laughs> but this one's doing very, very well, as you can see. It's just beautiful. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've had a lot of special treats in it, I would say. I hope you have a great day.